Hi, I want to talk about building Arduino resistor matter exactly like the fluke or based on the fluke so let's see what circuit we, we can build and uh, understand how it is working okay so I've built a very simple circuit which uh, consists of two resistors one of them will be a resistor that we know its value and it will be the R2 known value or we can call it reference value maybe so let's write it and this is a resistor that we know uh, what is its value this is the resistor that we would like to measure and get uh, let's say on LCD or on the serial port the value that is connected to here so basically we have a basic very basic ohm law which says that u is equal to the current that flow multiplied by the resistor and this is a uh, good for every part of the circuit so we can say that on this resistor the voltage of on the resistor between its pin is the current that flows through it multiplied by the resistor value same here okay so let's write uh, the formula that we can get out of it but first of all in the middle of the boss resistor we will take this pin and connect to one of the analog input and this is what we can measure with the Arduino okay so what we need to do is to connect the resistor that we want to measure and this will be always connected to the Arduino analog pin and this will be a known value that we uh, already know with this circuit we can measure every resistor and know its value so let's write the formula okay so as I said uh, this formula is good uh, for every resistor so from this formula we can say that uh, the R measured this is what we want to find is equal to the U which is the voltage on this resistor divided by the current that flow through this resistor okay let's write it okay this is one formula another thing that we can say is that since there is no current that flow to the Arduino analog input so the current which is I1 is equal to I2 okay this is good because there is no uh, current that flow to the input of the analog input this is a quite accurate as assumption okay so we will write that I1 is equal to I2 okay let's see what we can also write Another thing that I can say now is that the current here is equal to the current uh, on all the circuit. So what I can write is this. Okay, which is the U uh, measured, which is the voltage here on this pin that is going to the analog input divided by our R reference okay which is uh, the current that flows through the resistor is equal to the current that flow in all the circuit because it's the same current and I said that there is no current that flow here okay so the current uh, between this point to this point is exactly VCC divided divided by R which is the resistor that you want to measure measured plus plus our R reference okay 
let's make the font here smaller that it will it fit in okay again why this formula is correct because uh, as I said the current here which is the u measured uh, divided by the R reference the current that flow through this resistor is same as the current that flow through both resistor which is VCC divided by this resistor plus this resistor it's exactly the same current what I, I can also do uh, with this formula I can say that R reference multiplied by VCC is equal to U measured multiplied by R measured plus R reference so let's write it so this is exactly what I wrote here which is R reference multiplied by VCC is equal to the U measured on this point multiply by R measured plus R reference now we want to get out of this formula of course the R measure and to get a formula for it okay so we can open here the multiplication and we will have U measured multiplied by R measured plus U measured multiply by R reference okay so I'll write it okay so this is what I wrote here and uh, now you would like to get the R measured out of this formula so we can take a this U measured multiplied by R reference and uh, do minus of uh, this one on both sides so we'll get our reference multiplied by VCC minus U measured multiplied by our reference is equal to U measured multiplied by R, R, ref, R measured okay so I will write it okay so this is what I wrote here now our last step will be of course to divide both sides of the formula by the u measured which is this point here and then we will get uh, the formula for the r measured okay so i will write it okay so this is the last step and we can see that the r measured is equal to r reference multiplied by vcc minus u measured multiplied by r reference and this is all divided by the u measured okay so this is the formula to get the r measured out and i will use this formula but before i use it i can see that our reference is in this section in this section so we can take it out and write it a little better so let's do it okay so I will use this one in my software which is R measured is equal to R reference multiplied by VCC minus U measured again on this point all, all this is divided by U measured okay so uh, in order to make it more understandable more understood so let's add this kind of brackets okay now I think it is better understand understood okay so this is the final formula and how it is working basically we are using uh, the analog to digital the analog to digital is 10 bits which means if you measure 5 volts we will get a number of 1024 this is the maximum value of the analog to digital in the Arduino okay so uh, basically we, we get here a number and we have to translate this number to a voltage this is the what I wrote you measured so 
what is the u measure let's write it what it is so the u measured we can say that it is actually uh, the value that we get in the analog to digital okay so we can write is maybe Arduino ADC analog to digital conversion this is divided by a 1024 okay and you can put bracket to all this number and multiply this by VCC so we will have to use this also because this is actually the U measured that we need to this formula so now we have this formula and we have this formula and by those two we can get out the measured resistors that we want to use okay this is all thank you